Good morning everyone and welcome back to Keto Homestead with Jess. Today we are going to take a picture tour of my garden. So yesterday I was wanting to do a garden tour with you guys, show you the garden that I have. I have two gardens. I have my main garden and then I also have a berry garden and I wanted to share that with you. However, my house is really close to the road and recording and editing I'm still having a hard time with. I'm still learning. I live on a state route, my, my house is really close, like I said, and it's impossible to record and talk without all the traffic behind. It's either an Amish buggy or a tractor or a semi or some, some truck revving their engine up going by. So until I figure out how to record over background noise. I don't really want to put out a video with all of that in the background, but I just want dis to discuss with you on the homestead about gardening, growing your own food for survival. Now, me and my husband, we grow a garden every year, and that's our main focus in spring and fall is the garden and what we're going to be able to put up for the whole winter, and that's what we eat on throughout the whole winter and sometimes into early spring. Last year we had a really rough growing season so we've ran out months before spring had came. So this year we're really focusing on putting out more in the garden. I do live in a flood zone. I have a creek that runs along the backside of the property along with the spring and every spring we flood out and my garden is I would say at least to my knees when it floods so we got to be really diligent with when we plant and how we plant and this year we planted early we hoped that it wouldn't flood but it did so I think all of our seeds rotted so that's the point I'm getting to is when you're homesteading and you're having a garden to actually live on and survive off of, like 80% of your food comes out like us, you have to have a plan A, a plan B, and sometimes a plan C. And thankfully, I followed my own rules and we planted seeds in the ground, but also while my husband was planting seeds in the ground, I was able to plant um, starter seeds in the house and yesterday we ended up well he ended up planting all my tomatoes and i didn't realize how many tomatoes i planted but there ended up being 76 tomatoes that i planted and they're all different types of varieties and so our tomato season hopefully will be really good this year but we do have to replant everything that we did plant in the ground. Now, I didn't have enough space. I don't have a greenhouse or anything to start a bunch of seeds. Plants that take a really long time to start, like the tomatoes and the peppers, I did start in the house, so that was a blessing. But I just want you all to know that if you're getting into homesteading and gardening and you're planning your garden, just make sure you always have at least a plan B. You don't always need a plan C, but it's always better safe than sorry. So that's my little tidbit on gardening in the homestead. I hope you enjoy the pictures that I put in the clip. Stay tuned what you think, and if you want, share pictures with me so I can see your gardens. Again, thank you for stopping by Keto Homestead with Jess.
please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.